All right, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. And uh, Feliz Domingo por la mañana. All of you that are joining us by audio or video, we just want to welcome you to the Begins Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. And uh, we have a great lesson for you, so you need to prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Amen. God always has a good message for you. Yes. We, it's up to us to receive. Amen. So we're going to be talking today about waiting on Him. Amen. So let the Word of God bless you, encourage you, and change you, and correct you. So praise God. Deje que la palabra lo bendiga, lo anime, o lo uh, cambie, o nos corrige. Amen. So let the Word of God change you. And leave change in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, as you hear the word, let the word change you. And don't come as you were. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we're down and down and down and, and uh, sad and, and doom and gloom, you know. But you know, when you get yourself filled with the word and start going over the word of God, and let the word lift you up. Amen. Amen. Let the word lift you up. Don't stay down. He says, get up. It's time to get up. Yeah. It's time to press on, child of God. You know, the world's going to try to keep you down. People are going to try to keep you down. But you as a child of God, you got to make yourself up. Say, stir yourself up. It's time to stir ourselves up, church. You know, it's time to get out there in this world, you know, and be a child of God. And bring the word to a lost world. Amen. It's a negative world. Amen. And we got to be positive. We got to be the light. Amen. We're the light and the salt. And we got to go out there and bring the word of God. Amen. And bring a blessing. And you know, if you're uh, down and out and you're doom and gloom and, uh, and you got a frown on your face, it's time to turn it upside down. You know, nobody's going to approach you <laughs> if you got a frown on your face. You know, <laughs> say, Wow, uh, I want to tell you about Jesus. Well, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but if you got the joy of the Lord, it says, Rejoice and be glad. Or, be glad and rejoice. This is a new day I have given you. Amen. It's time to go out and bring the the, the good news, amen. amen, that's the good news in a sad world, a, a world full of bad news, yeah. amen. You turn your TV on, you turn your radio on, whatever you turned on, you're nothing but doom and gloom, nothing but sad news all over the place. But you have the good news in you, amen. Yeah. <laughs> amen. And you, you, you're a blessing going somewhere to happen for him, amen. amen. So church, you know, it's time to get excited about serving him, amen. Big or, like I said, big or small, you know, sometimes we get involved in the world said well what do you do you know is that all you do but that's too small for you know we want to think about doing something big you know and do something for ourselves and make a big name for ourselves <laughs> i don't care i just if i'm just a little toe in the body you know mm -hmm. in, in this physical body i just want to do the best and be the best little toe for god i can be yeah amen and you know he says uh when you preachers in christ you are ministers of uh, reconciliation you're his mouthpiece on earth so guess what that's a good that's that's exciting that's amen. important so see yourself that way amen god put me here i'm on a mission and i'm going to do the best i can for him he did his best so why not me amen so praise god Woo, hallelujah so grab your swords grab your bible soldier god and uh, say it like you mean it amen here we go it says, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. Woo, hallelujah. Remember, a church alive is worth the drive. You know, we didn't come to be entertained. That's right. Amen. We come to be encouraged. We come to... Uh, uh, Encourage one another and tell one another, you know, say, hey, you can make it. You're good. You're doing good. You know, we come and let the word of God bless us and correct us and, and, and encourage us. Amen. Yes. And that's what we come to do. But we are the church going somewhere to happen. Amen. Amen. We didn't come to church. We are the church. We come to assemble ourselves together and encourage one another. Yes. Amen. So us, we are the church. Church alive is, is, is worth the drive. Yes. And church alive is worth the walk. That's what our brother Rusty says. <laughs> Hallelujah. He yeah. walks the church. <laughs> Praise God. And we, last week we talked about having a winning attitude. Our Bible heroes. If you want to remember anything about our Bible heroes, they had a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. They may have started from Jesus all the way down. They had a winning attitude. Yeah. And we so, so must us, we must have a winning attitude. Uh -huh. Listen to this. Winning attitude. Forgetting the past. The past defeats, the past setbacks, the past yesterdays that should have, could have, would have, oh, yeah. 
today is a new day. Today's a new yeah. beginning. So press on, child of God, with a winning in it attitude yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah. Be the winner. Be the champion God made you to be. Amen. Amen. Don't wait for the world's approval. Don't wait for anybody's approval. You already have his approval. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to be the best I can be for him. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> And we gotta press on, child. Yeah. We gotta press on. We gotta press on. I'm excited. I don't know about you. And I'm gonna read you one of my texts that we had last week. It says Philippians three, uh, verses thirteen through fourteen. It says, well, let's 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 read it. Matter of fact, I have my Bible open there right now. Mine starts in verse twelve. It says, "The high calling of God. You have a high calling. So don't let anybody, don't let yourself." Put yourself down because you're nobody. I have a high calling of God. Amen. It says, the high calling of God, not as though I have already attained either were already perfect, but I follow after and if that I may apprehend, apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ. Now here we go, brethren, brothers and sisters. <laughs> it says, I count myself not to have up to, uh, apprehend, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto the, those things which are before. Yeah. And, and for, for, uh, verse 14 says, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I press. Yeah. I press. You know when you press, you gotta do more than just uh, <laughs> cruise or walk. You know, you gotta yeah. press. That means you're, you're moving. You're going. You yeah. know, and sometimes things come against you, but you're going to press. Yeah. You're going to press through. You're going to break through. Amen? So praise God. And this is a high calling of God. You know, when, you, when, when, you, when your body is, is just uh, <laughs> beat down and God is telling you to do something, you know, it's time to press on. It's time to press on and say, when you crucify, it says, renew your uh, feature of the spirit, man, the word of God. Renew your mind with the word of God and crucify your flesh. Because your flesh don't want to go. <laughs> the flesh wants to relax all the time. But, it, you know, when he says go, it's time to get the attitude right. Get that winning attitude going. Amen. And put a pep on your step and get the step in front of him. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says we can do some things through Christ. All things. All things, all things. All things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yes. We are to press it, press, 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 and press on with a winning attitude. See yourself soaring with uh, with God, soaring with eagles, and not uh, scratching the ground with the chickens. Amen. Right. Be positive and not negative. I've told this story, and you've heard it before, but I'll tell it to you again. I'm glad uh, <laughs> I'm preaching, not you. <laughs> This man, this farmer, he found this uh, eagle. The eagle is supposed to be king of all birds. Gigantic. Enormous. A winner, a champion, you know. But he found this eagle, and he's hurt. So he takes the eagle to his house, and he has a chicken coop. So he's got a bunch of chickens. He takes the eagle, and he places it with his chickens. So it takes a while for this chicken. Long story short, it takes a while for this eagle to get healed. Yeah. Okay? And he's hanging out with the chickens. So he started acting like a chicken. And the ranger comes and he says, uh, he, he's talking with the farmer and then he sees the eagle. He said, what you doing with the eagle here? He's supposed to be up in the air flying. Yeah. He said, well, he was hurt so I brought him here and now he's here. So guess what? The ranger said, well, he's healed now so let's put him up in the air. You know, take him out. And he throws him up Go ask the eagle to say fly. And then the eagle flies a little ways, gets back on the ground, and comes joins the chickens again. And he does that about several times, you know, and he does the same thing. Finally, he takes him way up in the, in the mountains, and he takes him up and he just throws him up in the air, and the eagle takes off, and he flies like be the bird that God had made him to be. And that's what we, you know, hey, he made us to be winners. He made us to be champions. They have winning attitudes. Yes. But you know, we start hanging out with the wrong crowds. Right. We start hanging out with all the wrong people. Yeah. You know, we're doing all the wrong things. Not feeding our spirit the word of God. Not feeding our spirit, man, the word of God. Not renewing our minds to the word of God. And all these negative things, all the negative world, uh, the distractions of this world will bring you down. Yeah. 
and you start walking around and crawling around and, and scratching with the chickens oh, instead of being the winning bird God made yeah. you to be. Being the winner, the winner, the, the champion God made you to be. All right. So we defeated ourselves and we made ourselves, we put ourselves lower, just like Adam made him to be a winner, made him, gave him authority, oh. and all of a sudden he loses his, yeah. his authority and he took a position of losing instead of winning. Hmm. So we must be careful when we see ourselves being dragged away from what God, what God has made us to be. Mm -hmm. We need to put up a stand and says, wait a minute, that's not for me. You know, hey, even if you've been knocked down, he says, hey, I'm going to get up. It's not time to quit. It's time to dust yourself that's off. Right. Get up and start to press it on like he's called us to do. Amen. Amen. Hey, what's my goal? My goal is heaven. We're yeah. just passing through this world on our way to heaven. Yes. And we're going to have big trees. And you know what? We're going to bring a bunch of people with us. Amen. Uh -huh. So praise God. So he wants you to soar like this eagle. Soar with the most high and be positive. Have a positive attitude, a winning attitude. And not scratch with the world or scratch with the chickens and have a negative attitude. You've been around negative people. You've been around people with bad attitudes. You didn't like it. And we shouldn't be that way. Amen. We should grow from that and see that and say, you know, you need Jesus. But we have to be imitators and have the love and compassion for us to be able to say, you know, they need Christ. Amen. Yeah. So anyway, Isaiah 40 and 31, you can open your Bibles there. Of course, Isaiah, Old Testament. Did you say wait? <laughs> Chapter 40, verse 31. My son, I don't know about you, well, this is commercial break. <laughs> If you have a Bible that has no markings on it, but just put it aside. <laughs> you can uh, highlight your, your, your Bible, underline it, uh, scratch it, highlight it, do all these things, personalize it, make it yours. Yeah. Amen. He's talking to me. He says, but they, I'm going to scratch they, but Jose, wait upon the Lord, what? Shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings yeah. as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. You know that I need your strength to win on a daily basis. Yes. On a daily basis. We need it. With him we win. With him, without him, we lose. Yes. Very, very simple. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 23 and 2. Well, you know what? Let's, let's go to Psalms. While we're there. Psalms 23. While we're there, let's read the whole thing. Praise God. It says what? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. It says, number four, verse 4 is the one we wanted. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Yeah. Thou, art Thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup yes. runneth over. 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 over, over, on a daily basis. We must just fill ourselves with him and let your cup run over. And you know, out of that overflow, <laughs> you go and minister to people. Yes. And go share with all these people about your God. Amen. Yeah. And you minister to him, but he says, my cup runs over. Don't let your cup go empty. Amen. You know what? If you want your cup to stay running over, that means you have to spend time with him. That yeah. means you have to read the word. Amen. You got to get it in you to right. overflow. It says, I need you no more being shall flow rivers River. of living water. Amen. 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 The word of God is going to come out of you. You say, well, I don't know. You know, when you get yourself full, all them fears will come out. Now I can do all things through Christ. Yes. I can step out in faith. We walk by faith hey, and not by sight. Not. You know what? When David saw the giant, he wasn't walking by sight. He was walking by faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, 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 and we need to do that on a daily basis because our giants approach us all the time. Yes. Well, I'm walking by faith. And greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes. me. We need to walk as champions, as winners, and walk in authority and not defeat. That's right. Amen. Amen. We must do this on a daily basis. And verse 6 says what? Surely.
goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Ooh, hallelujah. You need to read that on a daily basis. Get yourself excited. Get yourself motivated. Get yourself stirred up. Amen. We must stir ourselves up on a daily basis. You know what? If you don't get stirred up, nobody's going to do it. Amen. You hang around people, and they'll bring you down. Yes. You know, instead of allowing somebody to drag you down, why don't you bring them into your Amen. peace? Amen. Why don't you bring them into your place Amen. of being aware, of being yes. a champion, of having peace, of having Amen. authority? Amen. So Thank don't let them drag you, Thank you know. You <laughs> 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 Psalms 27 and 14 says this, wait yes. in faith and patiently on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, mm -hmm. I say, on the Lord. Oh, that was yes. the New King James. The New Living Translation said, Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Mm -hmm. Yes, wait patiently mm -hmm. for the Lord. In all cases, it is about waiting expectantly with yes. hope, Amen. faith, and trust. Being able to wait is trusting God's timing. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's all God's time. And those that wait upon the Lord yes. shall renew their strength. Yes. And we want it uh, just like the world. <laughs> Dry food, fast food, instantly, you know, microwave type, you know. I want it now. <laughs> I just prayed two seconds ago. So, it, Lord, what's the hold up? <laughs> God's timing. You're trusting and having faith. He's going to bring it to pass at his timing. He knows what, what is good for you. He knows when the right time to do it. Amen. So we must do that. Have, have, have uh, patience. Amen. Amen. Wait. Wait upon the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. It says God's timing. Yes. Uh, wait patiently for the Lord and be brave and courageous. Amen. Yes. Wait patiently for the Lord. Amen. I have no doubts. <laughs> I have no doubts. The doubts that, that if there's any doubts is in me and I need to get those doubts out. Amen. Mm -hmm. But if I study his word and get filled with the word, those doubts will go. Amen. Amen. Listen to this. It's not about us wait to see how long it's going to take. Just like we do one another. Uh, can you do the dishes for me? Can you do the yard for me? Um, well, maybe. <coughs> maybe. Oh, when I get ready for it, we make, we make each other wait. God is not like, like this. But God waits because it's his timing, and he knows what is best for us. Amen. Mm -hmm. we, we play these waiting games on each other, oh, but boy. God's not doing that in, his, in, 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 in the same what, the way we do it. Right. Wait on the Lord ne uh, necessitates two uh, key elements, a complete dependence on him and a willing to allow him to decide the terms and include his timing and his plan. Mm. Amen. He's got a plan for you, and he, he knows when to do it mm -hmm. and how to do it. Amen? Amen. So we must wait patiently. James 1 and, 1 and 3 says, uh, patience is a product of faith. Amen? Amen? Also, Galatians 5 and 22 and 23 says this. Listen, I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. But the fruit of the Spirit, the results of his presence within, the, within us, is love, unselfish concern for others joy, inner joy, peace, patience, long-suffering, mm -hmm. not the ability to wait, but how we act while we're waiting. Yes. Mm -hmm. While How we act while we're waiting, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Yes. Amen. These fruits are in us. We just have to yes. develop these fruits, amen, and let them come out and show themselves, amen. But it's in, in, in us. We must learn to wait patiently upon the Lord. There's another story I've told you before. It's about the little boy that's fishing. And the little boy's fishing, but he didn't bring patience with him. <laughs> now he's upset. So this cheerful man walks up to him, and he's checking up on him. Say, are you doing okay? How are you doing? What you doing? You're fishing. I see you're fishing. He has a good attitude. The little boy has a bad attitude. And the little boy says, no, I'm not fishing. I'm just 
came here to drown some worms. <laughs> That's a bad attitude, amen? Yeah. So you know when you've been around a bad attitude. He's got a bad attitude. He says, no, I'm just drowning worms. So go away. Don't bother me. You run across people like that. Sometimes around family. The family tell you these things. I don't want to be around them. Don't preach in my house. Don't preach to me. Do you talk about family? <laughs> Come on now. Don't put <laughs> don't shut me down because I'm preaching good. Now. <laughs> <laughs> of course, things they have when you go on fishing, well you do have to have worms or some kind of bait. Yeah. But you also have to have patience. Patience yeah. and faith, patience, and wait, waiting. Uh, it takes time. Yes, it, <laughs> it takes time. You know when they gotta see the bait? Uh -huh. And they gotta say, hmm, I don't know if I want I'm not hungry right now. Well, you know, I don't I'm tired of eating worms, you know. <laughs> Maybe you gotta throw something else out there. <laughs> so you ain't come to a buffet, you know. <laughs> so you gotta be have patience and you have to wait. Amen. <laughs> Expect them with hope and faith that you're going to catch. So if you go why why do you go fishing if you don't expect to catch anything? But then again, make up your mind, even if you don't go, maybe, hey, while I'm waiting, mm -hmm. I'm going to spend some time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm just going to pray in the spirit and have fun and stir myself up in the things of God. And guess what? Wow, I caught the biggest fish. <laughs> or guess what? I didn't catch anything. But you know what? I had a great time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. He gave me some peace. I relaxed myself and just let all the cares go. Mm -hmm. He says, cast your cares on him. Yes. Lord, I'm just going to cast all these cares on you. I'm just going to relax while I'm, while I'm fishing here. Yes. Amen. Yes. Woo. Hallelujah. Yes. You prepare yourselves when you go fishing for people. <laughs> it says, I'll make you fishers of men. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, for the boy didn't, <clears throat> the boy did not. Attitude is the key here and on our daily lives. Positive or negative, the attitude choice is yours. Yes. You're making this choice. Amen. Hey, let, well, I'll just read it to you. Attitude. Boy's attitude's negative. Man's attitude, positive. Happy, greeting him, checking on him. Attitude is contagious. Yes. Is yours worth catching? <laughs> you know, <laughs> people will know you by your words and your actions. <laughs> See, he's a Christian. She's a Christian. Have you seen her? You know, I've seen her when we assemble ourselves when we come to church, but did you see him when he left the church? Mm. People know. People yeah. see. Yeah. So attitude is contagious. Is your worth catching? Mm. Attitude is like a flat tire. Oh boy. You know, a flat tire and diapers. You gotta catch them before you go anywhere. It's a bad attitude. You gotta change it. Attitude determines, we talked about this last week, attitude determines your altitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you going to go high or are you going to crash? Mm -hmm. Amen. This is something used in flying also. Mm -hmm. Attitude determines your altitude. Yes. Amen. I want my attitude to be up and up mm -hmm. because I want to go high in places with him. I want people to know, hey, he's a child of God. He's an imit he imitates God. When I see him, I see Christ. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Yes. Ooh, God be the glory. Amen. Are you going to be scratching? Or are you going to be sorry? Oh it's up to you. You must choose to start every day with a good, positive attitude. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm. You used to be. You're a nobody. Mm. You're a bum. You're a loser. Mm -hmm. Now, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. I'm a winner, I'm a champion, and I'm changing. I'm taking authority. Amen. Having an attitude of gratitude. Ephesians 5:20 says, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Having an attitude of thanksgiving. Amen. Let's go. Psalms 100. Already in Psalms, just go a few pages more. 
and see what Psalm 100 says. Another song. Another song. All these are songs. <laughs> yes. All of us know them already, but let's, let's, let's read it. Psalms 100 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Listen, <laughs> when I say, and the praise and worship leader says, sing, and I'm singing under my God, <laughs> and you don't like my voice, <laughs> I'm making a joyful noise unto him. Yes. So we just yes. got to pray for your ears, for your hearing. <laughs> I say, Lord, heal their hearing now. <laughs> So I'm making a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye land. It says, serve the Lord with gladness. sadness. Gladness. Oh, gladness. Yes. Coming for his presence with singing. singing. Amen. So you know what? Yes. Hey, one day we may just come in here and just have a praise and worship service. Amen. And just sing songs unto him. That's fine with me. Yes. Amen. We're pleasing him. I'm, I'm not trying to make a name for, for myself up here. Amen. I bring the message. I'm just a messenger. But if we decide to just praise him, he's going to bless us anyway. Yeah. Amen. He's going to bless us. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Verse 3 says what? Know ye that the Lord, Lord he is God. God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yeah. Amen. Know who you are mm. and who you are. Amen. When you know these things, nothing can bring you down right. unless you let yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. And verse 4 what says what? Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth the all generations. Woo, hallelujah. You can, say, you can say that on a daily basis. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me see. Uh, the Amplified says this. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all you lands, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Know, perceive, recognize, and understand with Ooh. approval that the Lord is God. Yes, it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. Yes. And we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. It says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and a thank, off a thank, thank offering and into his courts with praise, be thankful and say to him, bless and affectionate praise his name. Yes. For the Lord is good, his mercy is, his mercy and loving kindness are everlasting. Yes. His faithfulness and truth endureth to all generations. Yes. Woo, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise, praise God. God, praise God. Yes. God is so good. Yes, he is. And of course, number three says, first one was have a good positive attitude. Yes. Number two says, Attitude of gratitude. Yeah. Number three is a winning attitude. Uh -huh. No. So, uh, Matthew 6.33 says, in the uh, easier uh, read version here, says, But seek first the kingdom of God and yes. his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Amen. Amen. A winning attitude. For God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. Amen. John 3.16. Yes. Having a winning attitude. Go over and spend time in the Word. Spend time with Him before you go into the world. Amen. Have a winning attitude when you hit that door. Yes. Amen. And know who you are. Yes. You know, I guarantee you, <laughs> people want to walk up to you and they want to talk about all their sadness, oh, about all their bad things happening, oh, about all their sicknesses. Oh. And you go in there and instead of being dragged in there, you say, you know what? <laughs> My God is able to heal you. My God is able to bless you. My God yes. is able to bring you out of that. Amen. You know? So you don't allow yourself to be dragged into them. You allow, you pull them out. You pull them out of their hole, out of their doom and gloom, yes. out of their bad attitude, oh. out of their losing ways, yes. and share Jesus with them. Yes. Amen. We got to do this. You know, if we don't do we we are the body. His, yes. He's the head and we're the body. Amen. You can write this down. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Oh, yeah. Amen. Attitude uh -huh. is a little Amen. thing that makes a big difference. Yes. You know, I don't want to talk to that person again. I don't want to be around that person again. Why? Attitude. Amen. We know people. And we have family members like this. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> we got to pray.
pray for them. Because oh, yeah. we got to be around them. We can't. We we can't. Uh, we can't avoid them. We are bringing the good news to you. Yes. They don't know the truth, and the truth is going to set them free. How are you going to hear the good news if uh, if uh, if you don't bring it to them? Uh huh. Tell you another quick story. This is about my uh, spiritual father. Hearing, I went to Bible study. He's Doctor Savell. He gave the story. He gave the testimony. He says this. He said somebody blessed him with a custom-made uh, motorcycle, and he was just cruising. He was just cruising, and all of a sudden he saw a bike rally, and he stopped, and he went and he joined, and he's just admiring all these nice bikes there. And somebody says, "Man, you got a nice bike. Why don't you enter the contest?" He said, sure, what do I need to do? He said, just sign here. So he entered the contest. <laughs> At the end of the day, when it was over, they said, Jerry Savelle, where are you? He said, here I am. He said, well, come on up. You won grand prize. They gave a great big old trophy. <laughs> he says, by the way, he says, uh, what do you do? <laughs> he said, I'm a minister. A minister, he said, what are you doing in this bike rally? This is, <laughs> uh, I forgot what it is. I think it was an outlaws, outlaws a bike rally. You know, he said, what are you doing here? You know, he said, well, I saw, I saw, I saw your bike, bike, bike rally, and I just pulled in, having a great time. <laughs> and uh, he won. He said, well, he says, are you you're a minister, huh? He said, yeah. He says, well, hey, uh, uh, wh why don't you pray for us? So he prayed for him. He says, 25 people got prayer, got, got saved. Amen. He said, what are, you, what, what are you doing tomorrow? He said, well, what are you doing after this? He said, I'm going home. He said, well, uh, tomorrow Sunday, uh, no ministers preach on Sundays? Mm -hmm. and, and, and he says, yeah. He says, well, why don't you spend the night with us? And uh, you can preach tomorrow. He said he, he stayed overnight. And he preached Sunday, 25, people, 25 more people got saved. Amen. Tell them the funny part about he, how he said, what? Uh, uh, should we let him preach? Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he has, he has uh, the outlaw uh, <laughs> bikers. He said, should we let him preach? He, they said, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let him preach. <laughs> Uh, and, and then he says, uh, should, should we invite him to preach on Sunday also? He says, yeah, 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 let him preach. <laughs> the thing about it is this, this is what he said. Mm -hmm. He went in there with good intentions. He said, how many of these people would have came and walked in your uh, church? Mm -hmm. How many of these people would have came into one of your church meetings? None of them. But he went in there because he liked motorcycles. Somebody blessed him with a motorcycle. He went there because he saw a motorcycle rally. He wasn't concerned about the people. Mm -hmm. he, was look, he, was, he was admiring the motorcycle. But then again, people got saved. Mm -hmm. And those people would have never walked in your church. Mm -hmm. But the right. Lord brought him to them, mm -hmm. and they got saved. Amen. See, the Lord Amen. is going to bring you to some places where he wants you. And you are the salt, and you are the light, and you are bringing the salvation message to a lost world. Yeah, man. Amen. He said, you can do all things through all Christ things. who strengthens yeah. you. That was awesome, you know. Yeah. They would never come in here. But you know what? We come in here, assemble ourselves, and encourage one another. And when we hit those doors, our mission field starts. Mm -hmm. And that's your mission field. Amen. Amen. Brother Rusty's gone to Mexico, and we got other missionaries uh, we support overseas, but our missions is wherever you wherever you work, wherever you shop, mm -hmm. wherever you go. That's your mission field, and they would never come in here. Mm -hmm. But then again, he's sending you out there to them. Yes, Amen. And you're the fishers of men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. Sometimes we may feel like the little boy. We haven't accomplished anything. We're wasting time. We're spinning our wheels. Mm -hmm. Impatient, annoyed, irritated, and edgy. Oh, boy. Amen. Say, wow, you know, hey. 
I had a, I had I had a man we were cleaning the house for, and I was doing his yard also, and he went himself and he says, "Well, I'm gonna take care of my yard myself." So he went and bought him some brand new uh, uh, weed eaters, and when he found out he couldn't do anything with them, he just walked over to me and says, "Would you like some new equipment that I can't I don't know how to." Use, I said sure. So he gave me three weed eaters that he bought that he was going to use. I said praise God. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. He got edgy. He got irritated. <laughs> Impatient. <laughs> and I say sure. People are going to do this to you as well. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're going to come and they're going to bless you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody. Uh, well, not not going there. Anyway, <laughs> the renewing of our strength requires that we wait patiently on the yes. Lord and in the middle of great trials. Amen. If we wait patiently on him, we will reap. Yes. Amen. We win. We will obtain. We will acquire. Yes. Our faith and our trust must be tested to gain the strength. Amen. In these times that we need the Lord more than ever before, easy to live for God and trust him when things are going well. Uh -huh. Amen. Not so easy when the weight of the world is on your shoulders. That's right. Amen. Many Christians quit, bail down on God mm -hmm. as the storms of life get rough. Mm -hmm. And they will get rough. Yeah. Amen. So we need to know that he is our strength. Yeah. That he is there for us. That we he, we can count on him. Yeah. Is, your, <laughs> is your life in the middle of disorder, confusion, or turmoil? Mm. The waves of temptation are about to swamp you. Look up and put your trust in him. Amen. Amen. Look up and put your trust in him. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to close there. Amen. But you know, whatever weights of the world are beating down on you, you know, all you have to do is cast it on him. He says, cast it on